Hello everyone, welcome to Platform 32. My name's Ian Higton, that's how you spell it if you want to follow me on Twitter and get all updates on my live streams. Today's live stream is, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a spooky one, that's why the lights are off. Uh, I'm playing a game called Layers of Fear. I did a little quick video for it for the Eurogamer show. Uh, last week I played um, an early preview build of the game which has now been released on Early Access. Uh, it made me swear, I, I think I said fuck about three times because there's quite a few jump scares in there uh, and I'm now I'm going to be playing for 90 minutes so um, I think I played for about 30 minutes when I was doing the Euro Gamer show video and I, I edited that down to like two minute jump scare compilation uh, but uh, I, so maybe for the first few scares I'm I, I know what's coming so I might not be as scared as as normal but hopefully once I get past uh, the threshold of the bits I've seen um, things will start getting a bit scarier for me. Uh, my girlfriend is actually uh, in the room um, sat with another pair of headphones in. She's curious, she wants to watch the game so you might hear me screaming, you might possibly hear Laura screaming as well. Um, you never know. Um, normally I read a lot of comments from you guys and girls, but uh, because it's a horror game, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna dim dim the screen down a bit, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna kind of not read as many comments, just so I can get a little bit absorbed into the game. Uh, I'm also gonna be listening to my headphones really loud, so that might make me shout a little bit. But um, horror games. The best way to play horror games, in my opinion, uh, IMO, is uh, to play them in the dark with your headphones on really loud, uh, just on your own, so you can get really absorbed, so you just get like lost in the screen. So that's what I'm going to try and do, so that um, I get the most scares out of it. Now this game starts off pretty slow. Uh, someone was saying that they saw a Jim Sterling video of it and, and on it, and he was... He seemed to be quite bored by it. I watched it a little bit, and yes, he did seem a little bit bored by it, to be honest. Uh, I don't think he was wearing headphones to play it. I think I don't think he was um, in the right kind of um, frame of mind to play it. And he also spent a long time at the very beginning bit, which is a bit Dear Esther-y. It's a bit walk around and explore and nothing happens. So I'm going to go through that bit quite quick, and I'm just going to get to where it kicks off. And then, fingers crossed... Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna scare us all. Uh, hello to Lizzie, 2006, Plankton, 1975, Novarak, uh, Azumi says hello, Laura, or oh, hi, Laura, Duster ones here, Novarak says getting a, a woman in the room in order to mask your own girlish screams then. What, how did you rumble my plan already? Uh, hey, John, how? He says so spoopy. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be spooky or... Spoopy is a real word, I'm not sure. Uh, hey, Winter Phoenix, Plankton, CRS 8009, Dan Lidford, Kai was 12, Valhalla Viking, Lizzie 2006, and everyone else. Kitch Sai as well, Kitch Sai and Oliver Little are uh, driving very fast to get back and watch. Right, I'm going to have a sip of my, my rum and coke. There, just to wet my whistle. I'm going to go to sound. I'm going to turn the volume up here. I'm going to apply that. How's that in your ears, Laura? Is that quite loud? Which is quite loud, but it's alright. Um, I don't know where my uh, control. Oh, there we go. If I turn it down a bit for you, then I can turn my headphones up here. I think. Okay, cool. Right, we're ready to go. Hopefully the um, audio's okay. Your guys' side. I'm going to start a new game. You good? Too loud. Right, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to turn the uh, light down a little bit, maybe not too much, just so you can uh, see my scared face. Oh God! Oh God! The torment I have to endure. I still hear the scratching in my head. Deeper and deeper, and my hands. There's my keys. Cut so many times on broken bottles, each night drowning in a cold sweat. But there is a way. There is a way indeed. To bring back what life took from me. The only precious thing. My precious. 
So we're playing as a painter who is um, a little bit um, of an alcoholic, possibly a bit drug addled. You might see a bit of screen tearing, um, by the way, when I turn around and stuff. That's just because my graphics card is is a bit poo. Um, so you'll have to you'll have to live with the screen tearing, I'm afraid. So here we go. Uh, it's one of these games, a bit like Amnesia, where you have to click on things to like open them have a look in uh, you have kind of world building newspaper clippings and things about you know just telling telling you that this guy's quite an artist but he's an artist uh, who was good and he's he's um, he's not that good anymore he's, he's things have gone wrong and I guess that's part of the story is to find out what went wrong with the artist this is an early access game I forgot to mention uh, the early access feature means they're still adding to the game and they've left out, um, according to the developers, they've left out a big chunk of the story so um, people who play in early access uh, don't get the story spoiled for the final release. Uh, this room here has got loads of paint on it and it says... I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. So, we need to find the keys to get into um, into my painting room. You can spend quite a bit of time wandering around this spooky mansion, checking out the creepy paintings. Uh, there's a lot of uh, weird, scary baby art in this game. I'm not 100% sure whether that might have something to do with the story. Um, and this game also has a few jump scares in it. Like I said, I know what's going to happen for the first few jump scares. Laura doesn't, so you might hear her scream. Look, see? That looks like a baby with a beard. <laughs> like a Jeff from Bike Grove beard or something. How is that baby old enough to write? I, th I don't think that's historically accurate. Uh, right, dear friend, uh, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some hard times right now, I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place, for all time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Together. So yeah, as you can see, um, he used to be a, an illustrator of note, and um, something's happened to him to uh, send him off the rails a little bit. I've just picked up the key to my office. You can see my key, like my inventory, just below me in the bottom right-hand corner. So we'll have a quick look over here at the kids' bedroom. Spooky ghost balls. Nothing worse than having spooky ghost balls waved in front of my face. Um, horrible dolls. Again, this is um, this is all scene setting stuff, and you don't really need to spend too much time here. So I'm going to just run straight past. <clears throat> Lizzie's having problems watching the um, stream. Apologies. If you've got an iPad or an iPhone or something, uh, you can get the YouTube gaming app. That might help you a bit. Here we go. Right. Let's get into. Um, let's get in here and we'll kick things off. Uh, first thing I'd like to draw your attention to is this painting of a child being stolen by a bird. Uh, he's got his ass out and he's having a wee wee, and he looks a little bit angry. Um, as I would be if I was plucked up by a bird mid, I guess he's mid toilet, poo in a wee. Uh, what is this? Deep breaths, remember, you're professional. It's just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? So possibly been struggling for inspiration as well, my uh, fellow painter guy. He's been painting the ceilings a lot and the walls. Get it right this time, he says. Uh, we've also got more kind of um, evidence that he likes to work shit-faced. There we go, look at all those wine bottles in there. Right, anyway, so what we need to do is we need to uncover the painting. Whee! 
now we can uh, now we can continue exploring the house now I've uncovered the painting and this is where it suddenly becomes like a weird um, ghost house kind of deal because now we've got an ever changing um, ever changing house with lots of nasty surprises in it Each room has, uh, pretty much each room has a little nasty surprise in it. We've got lots of famous artwork. I believe these are all famous artworks. I'm not very, uh, not very arty farty to be honest with you. But I think they're all um, famous artworks. Uh, this is, uh, here we go, just out of, let's see, that was the first bit that made me jump. Um, looking out the window and the, uh, the window closing. I knew, I knew it was coming, just out of reach. Hello, Downstart Select Gaming. Hello, Azumi. Hello, Fergal Riley. Tominator XXX. Hello, everyone. So the house is continuing to change. Um, this is, if you're interested, I'm playing this on medium graphics at the moment. Uh, on high graphics, my PC struggles a bit, but it does. It is a very pretty game. Um, going in circles. More artwork. Now it's not just Dear Esther style uh, wandering around, there are some puzzles, um, for instance, a locked, locked chest, how do we get in there? Well let's head over to this ghostly whispering, can I lift that back and press a button and call Batman? I can't, uh, I can light these candles though. Here we go. Is that quite loud in your ears? <laughs> Four, eight, five are the numbers on these creepy melted paintings. Four, eight, five. Here we go. It's unlocked. The past holds back. Look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? So there we go. Locked up is an engagement ring. That looks like a gigantic sapphire um, prong set. Uh, what kind of cut is that? It's got a nice table on it. Princess cut. Mm. Round cut. Round cut. Nice uh, kind of gold work there. Anyway, sorry, that's my Gems TV knowledge coming up. Uh, never forget. Alright, so we've got a new spooky door has just appeared. Let's continue onwards. Every horror game needs a creepy rocking chair. This one is no different. Hello, my dear. Give me a smooch, my dear. Mm. Oh, ooh. What a lovely dear. Check out this on the wall. Look at that freaky baby. <laughs> so that bit also made me jump when I played it for Eurogamer. But I knew it was coming again. Scare spoiled. It's trouble with horror games. Can't really play them more than once. So we're in a we're in a dark basement now, we need to turn the lights on. Boom. Oh. Okay, haunted paintings, trying to eat my face off. <laughs> Laura's not enjoying the uh, loudness of the headphones. Okay, so spooky basement and creepy sneaking up on me paintings. Who builds a trapdoor in their house? Huh? 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 I wish I had a trapdoor in my house. I'd use it whenever guests came around. I wouldn't have very many guests after a while, but it'd be funny. For a bit. Back to the room with the creepy dot. Like, that is some weird artwork, right? Nothing else to see here. Can I spin the globe? Can't spin the globe. What, what? 
uh, the wardrobe closer. Wait, what? Okay, a corridor full of freaky morphing portraits of old posh people. <laughs> Paint deep lies. And we've got something up here. Note. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> Lol. Paint, <laughs> paint me like one of your French girls. Maybe I should have gone for a poo before the stream started, says Duster1. Lol. This would be great on Xbox and PS4. Need another Outlast, says Craig Green. Yeah, we do. This is a bit like um, PT, I think. Um, very kind of almost photorealist, if on high at least, very photorealistic and uh, kind of crazy jump scares and trippy like dark crap happening. See that mouse just run into the fire. Whoa. Good. Okay, that painting's turned into like some kind of mirror with something creepy crawling out of it. Looks like something out of the ring. All the art's melting in creepy ways. All there is to see in here. I think I might have to go back out this way. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, just this house just keeps changing and changing. Not too sure how much stuff there is to find in these cupboards, though. Okay. Crying ghost girls are never a good idea. Sounds, sounds like it's coming from... The ceiling. Out the window? Alright. First step is the hardest. I've just taken three, it wasn't that hard. So we're in the kitchen. It's not too scary in the kitchen. Nice and light, in fact. Ah, uh, okay. Things are falling down. Something's behind the painting. Holy shit, we up. Oh, there's a brick wall behind there. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then razor. carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. That looks like a nipple to me. 
So the artist has been flaying skin off someone to paint on, and I seem to have picked it up and brought it with me. Okie dokie. We're heading back out. Alrighty. Shapeless dreams. What do I do? Do I put the skin on the... It's changing slightly. It's like some fucked up nightmare flamingos. Rodent seeds, rotten soil, I see the dirt move. Nothing grows. Yes. That's locked. What is whispering to me over here? Does whispering mean I need to see something? I think I can just carry on. Okay, this lift's new. Nothing like a spooky, rickety lift to make a horror game that a little more disturbing. What the hell is that? Spooky. This is trippy, almost making my hangover worse. Is that you six and that hair? Hey, Beatles Ghost. Hello. Another bearded baby. Hello, bearded baby. Can I tickle your beard? Better not. He's like a magician, and she did not like his trick. Right. How was that? Oh, the door just slammed shut behind me, did it? Where's the music coming from? Oh, from in here. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Don't make me beg. Oh, don't make me beg. This guy sounds like a douche. What? Oh, it's gone really dark. Come here. It's better. As they'd say in um, Life is Strange, it's gone hella dark. Spooky clocks. Anything cool in your drawers? Just checking out your drawers. Nothing cool in the drawers. Never normally is. Hello. I think I must be getting close to the part where I've played up to you now. Oh no, I remember the dog painting. <laughs> hey oh, burning. Ha <laughs> oh, ha, poor puppy. Whoops. The guy I'm playing has better not have set dogs on fire. 
Otherwise I will not be happy. Hello? Hello? Mr. Tefefalone? It cannot be undone! Guess Hickson's walking through a mirror. Oh, I just walked through a creepy mirror. Look at that world in there. Where's the telephone? Tefefalone? Oh, there it is. Hello? Yes, speak. What? What? What fire? I do play Life oh, is Strange, God. yes. Is she... Which hospital? I'm on my way. On my way. Alright, so... Wifey's been burnt in a fire. My wifey's been burnt in a fire. At least I think that's, that's what I'm reading into it. Mice! Mouse trap did nothing. We've got make up your mind. Hmm. Looks like he's been throwing some tantrums. Uh, hello? It's this room again with the spooky deer. I don't know, it's a bit different to the last time. I think we're right. What the hell? Thought I'd fallen through the floor again. Uh. This looks like my house after a party. I never forget when my friends wrecked my deer head. What's that there? A key! Yeah. going on here. Can I do anything with this chair or is it just a... It's just an incredibly creepy room. Can I sit in it? Oh god. It's gone really dark. Ah. Uh, might get in there. Hello? What the f- That sounded like that came from behind me, but I'm not 100% sure. Wow, it gets really dark. This is as far as I've played up to. So now I don't know what's going to happen. So hopefully uh, I'll get scared. Can you die in this game, says Mike Tiger 24 TB? I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i not 100% sure. What incredible tash. I think... Uh, I'm not sure if you can. I've not managed to. Oh, that door shut. It's locked now. Some really unhelpful ghosts in this. You shit. Fuck. Anything interesting on this table? Doesn't look like it. More candles. It's 
Is that anything of, of anything of use in here? Oh yeah, there's, look, there's a key. Door just slammed again. <coughs> Don't do that. Put the candles back on. I can hear loads of doors opening. Hey, uh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, fuck. Hello? Hello? Oh, please don't be an alien. Shit, please, please don't be an alien. Alright, that was weird. Oh. Someone been dragging, like, Paint bodies. Where does this drag mark go? Like, look. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What the fuck? This house is absolutely amazing. But those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bed. With leg of mine. Okay, so something fucked up came out of the painting and dragged a body made of um, crazy paint up to the door, had a knock, and then went this way. So let's go and find out what that was. What could possibly go wrong? First step is the hardest. Wait up. Been here before. Ain't no thing. Oh, gramophone. Can I play it? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Wait. Gramophones work better if you put a record on them. Oh, that'll do. Boop. Anything else over here? Quickly. Oh, look. Any keys? Oh, what's this? Prosthesis snatches. Why the damn leg? Insatiable bastards. Can't afford a new one. What is that prosthesis? Is something burrowed into a wooden leg or something? He needs a wooden leg. Got a nice bed. Be quite comfy if they wash the sheets once in a while. Alright. Oh, what's that? What does that do? I'm only, I'm only dancing because I'm scared. Is that it? Anything creepy happened to that painting? Is that it? What if I... What was that? Oh my god. What if I change that lever and try it again? Does that do anything? Oh shit, find it backwards. Oh, I'll never play old music backwards. Oh, my door's melting. That's fucked up. That's like the soundtrack to my dreams. What the fuck? Wow, it hasn't turned back again. Holy shit. My oh, back got fucked up. Shit's dripping off the ceiling. Can't tell if it's burnt or. Wet, I think. No, it's wet. Is it ink? What's this? I needed a jar and. 
in a plastic tubing. Tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. <clears throat> I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. This man fucking hungry. The tube in the jar and it just kept coming. Oh my god. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? <laughs> Why did you do that in the first place, you bell? All right. Okay, do I need to... I, I possibly need to play the song the right way again, I guess. I think what I did was I accidentally found that switch before I should have done. Yeah, all right. I'm going to try and reverse the music. Yeah. The magical tidying music fixes everything. Excellent. Right, get me out of this creepy bedroom. Screw your gramophone. Oh, shit. Smack, smack my face on the door. Okay, we've got something else to add to the... What the fuck? First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used the razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped me keep my hands steady. He's just hanging a bit of his skin up there. Crazy artists. And now, oh, look. So this cup must be, like, some kind of, like, hub, I guess, where all the collectibles you find get hung up. Let's add some blood to my painting of fucked up flamingos. See what it becomes now. It is. What the hell is that? I don't even know what that is. It just looks just looks like he's mate he just looks like he's fucked up a painting. Didn't do it very well. Start again. Hello. 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 Hello? Alright. Looks like we're going around again. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we've got this room that was all messy is now chained up. I don't think I'm getting in there. Uh, not going that way, so I guess hopefully there's a way to go through this way. It was boarded up last time, here we go. Mm. Problem with this is scares without consequence. It's a virtual ghost train. Um, that's what someone says. What's this? Creator's block. I think this is going to be very artsy fartsy as it fuck. Oh, very clever. It's all going. This is all going on inside the drug-addled mind of a uh, of a painter, I guess. Hello. Stuck behind this bloody. Whoa! What? Okay. What? What? <laughs> This would actually be quite good, I reckon, in virtual reality with a VR helmet on, I think. Okay, so, creepy bedroom. Turn the light on. No ghosts appeared. That's locked. Give me a key. Give me a key. Key for Ian? A key for Ian? Oh, no one wants to give Ian a key. What about over here? Oh. Boop. Right, nothing there either. Fuck! <laughs> that bit got me. That's how I open doors in real life, because I'm like really strong. We can't, we're not allowed doors in this house anymore, because I just bash them down like that. So that's, that's one of the problems uh, of, of being like 
uber tough. What's going on? What's out there? Is that flickering? Oh! Oh, there was something there. Did you see the person there? Oh, it's still walking. There's still something. Is it? Is it trees? Oh, I think it's trees now. Oh, for... oh shit! <laughs> All right, that wasn't that. That made me jump. Is it outside again? Come on. I'm not sure what that weird gigantic ghost thing was. It looked like a ghost butler or something. Hello, restless memories. The worst ones are the way you turn around and there's something there. They're the ones that get me. Fuck you! And also those ones that make me insta jump. Hello? Oh shit. There's a light switch. I think it's upside down, man. to turn the lights on. Ah. Here we go. Oh. Oh, I can't turn the room back upside down again. That's a pity. Wow. He really forked up that piece of paper. <laughs> Dangling dread. Patient thirsty. Furry leeches. Afraid to look up. Oh fuck, yeah, I'm, oh, there's nothing there, alright. I thought that was a bit of a foreshadowing for a scare, but it wasn't. 45 people watching, by the way. Hello, all 45 of you. I'm playing a game called Layers of Fear. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's a um, psychedelic horror game, I think is the way the creators have been uh, describing it. It's uh, out now on Steam Early Access. It's pretty cheap at the moment because it's not the full game. Um, very pretty. Uh, it's quite atmospheric, but it's a bit of a ghost train, as someone described it. There doesn't seem to be much uh, at stake. You kind of just walk through, getting into the story and uh, being made to jump occasionally by like weird, gigantic ghost bastards. That's fuck. Fuck, what the fuck? I was doing like a, something was figure was doing that kind of PT wobbling monsterness. Hope kills the mind. Oh, I'm gonna go this way quickly and open this door, see what's in here. Oh, it's locked. Going back down the lift again. <laughs> Ian, what the fuck is that thing behind you in real life? Says uh, Alex Magoo. It's alright. It's alright. I'm good. Wait, can I go this way? No. Red light means no. Computer says no. Oh, shit. How about now? We going? We're going down this time. I went up last time. Now we're going down. Hey, drunk Dougie. What's that say? What does it say? Nando's? Abandon. Hope well. Oh, abandon. I don't know why I thought that said Nando's. <laughs> I think I'm hungry. <laughs> Nando's all hope while you can. Cheeky hope abandoning. Well, he's not really done much to furnish this room, has he? Hello? I reckon the level designer's got bored there. 
They were like, fuck it, we'll just stick an empty room in, can't be bothered. Ah! Oh, a bath full of blood. Holy shit! Oh no, that's creepy. Silent floaters! I did a couple of silent floaters this morning. They clog the drains fur in the water. No baths for me! This guy's got an issue with rats and dolls and baths and fire and paint. This guy's got issues. Silent floaters all around. Okay. We're at crossroads, Laura. Which way? Left, forward, or right? Right. Right. Okay. This scares me. You're in trouble. Ow, I just hit my dick on the door. Oh. oh. Mm. Oop. Okay. Left or forward? That's forward. That's left. Forward or left? Left. Left. Oh, you are the worst at directions, Laura. Okay, we're going forward. Oh, shit! We're trapped! Okay, dokie. Yeah, this would definitely make a cool virtual reality experience. What was that? Easy to forget. Okay, we've got one door that looks normal, one door that's got black inky ooze coming out of it. Let's do the normal door first. Oh, is it? Oh, it's locked. It's locked. That is locked as well, probably for the best. So I'm not reading too many comments though, by the way. Um, I just said at the beginning of the stream I was going to keep the comments to a minimum just so I didn't keep getting distracted. Why is it so dark? Holy shit. Oh, oh no. A spooky basement, of course. Hello. There's nothing scary about basements or cellars. You don't find cellars scary, do you, Laura? No, no. It's a bit different to the last time I fell down here. What the fuck? Shit's melting. All the, all the material is like rotting away. It's not really that scary though, that's just weird. You can hear a weird throbbing noise now. Can I play the piano? A bit like you're playing, Laura. Holy shit! Oh, anti-gravity piano! Anti-gravity piano! Holy fuck. Is that a sausage? No. This is quite kind of relaxing in a way. Drifting through a spooky cellar. Ghost furniture all around. Spooky things, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ, what's going on? Where's it going? Is this a thing? Is it the. Whoa! Oh, oh, that's weird. Oh, I've done this one. The oh, fuck! No, 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 fuck, no. What? What was that? Probably should have lit that first. Oop. Okay. No way out there. Are we heading back out? What about the piano? Ah, oh, I bet that piano was worth a lot of money. I bust it. That's not supposed to be floating in midair. Fix that Q and A department. I guess we're heading back up again. I couldn't see any more doors out. Running, running. 
Man, I'd be running the shit up these stairs <laughs> if it was real life. I wouldn't be limping up there slowly. Oh, he's limp. He's got a limp. It must be him with the fake leg. Oh, fuck. Oh, you shit bastard. Do I need to go back down again? I guess there must be a key I'm missing or something. Okay, that makes sense if my guy's got a limp. And perhaps he is... That makes sense about why there was that thing about the, um... Fake leg. What the fuck? Oh, look at the <laughs> These tables have got no weight to them. They also make no noise. Bring. Anything around here? This game is in early access. I've got a table attached to my groin. What's the deal, Ian? I was a way out. Where would I be? Got a weird underground fountain. It's <laughs> 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 a little shitty monster. Fuck that chair! Where did that come from? <laughs> Fuck! That scared me more than it should have done. This table's got paint on it. Anything to do with that table? No, I don't think so. Oh, look, here we go, look, there's a thing I right there. I remove the flesh from the bone. What? At first I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, what? and put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one. Obviously, this was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. White paint? Made for a lovely undercoat. Okay, so I've got a bone. Maybe that will allow me to get up to the top now. Um, there we go. I hope I don't have to come right back down these stairs again. I run upstairs at home anyways, says someone whose comment just disappeared. Okay. Right, we're back in. Wow, it's getting a bit untidy. Are you done? I always had enough. Just going for a poo. <laughs> oh, I just got an evil look then. <laughs> right, we're adding some. Oh, look, that's the blood from before. So I guess looks like you're getting like six things, six trips through the house to find. Six different gory pieces of... What is the painting saying now? Did he cut his own leg off to make part of this painting? What is that? Is that a nipple? Second time I've said this in the... Uh, what if you fail? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Let's keep going. Let's keep going while I can. Oh, creepy children's drawings! Hooray! Last time creepy children's drawings appeared, there was a weird, horrible hanging thing in the shadows. That made me whimper. This game hasn't, um... scared me as much as I thought it would. I don't know whether it's because... You played the fuck! <laughs> Look at that. What? 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 Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe I should, uh, I use some more bravado. Right. Oh yeah, this game doesn't scare me, and then instantly it throws some scary trick at me. Okay, what? Yikes. Oh, fuck me. What is that? It's a weeping woman. Holy shit, what is this? This has definitely got some like, it's got like jump scares by the bucket load and then like it... 
has a lot of creepy bits. I am... I don't know where the fuck I am. How do I get out of here? There we go. This gets very dark at times. What are these rooms? Uh, I think maybe it goes black when you're in the wrong place. You need to keep going. Oh god, there's fucking Lisa from PT. Alright, be brave, Ian. What's that? What's that on the floor? Dog muzzle. Please don't make me jump. Please don't make me jump. Oh, I think I died. Did I died? Holy shit. Oh, that bit. That, that bit got me. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Now where am I? I want to see the comments for that bit come in. Hopefully you guys jumped as much as I did then. Something under floorboards here. Body borrow is feeding on me, driving me insane too fast to cut out. He's got like cockroaches in his skin or something. What is this? What is that? That is a candlestick. That is where I woke up, was it? In some kind of like ritualistic circle of tea light. That ain't too sex. So I'll see if that made you guys jump. This guy's a dog. Where are we? Where's my comments? Okay, that shit me up, says Dan Lidford. Uh, I think you need the toilet now, says Specky48. I think I might need the toilet as well now. It got a meh from me, too predictable, says Azumi. Uh, that scene was a total rip-off of PT, says Valhalla Viking. It was, wasn't it? It was. It made me jump, though. I screamed. Shit just hit my head off the headboard ball, says Drunk Nuggy. I was watching this. That's not the first time I've made you hit your head on the, um, on the headboard. And that's not a sex joke, either. Or is it? Or is it? I don't know anymore. Okay. Oh, I just saw a rat. This guy doesn't like rats. This guy doesn't like children's paintings. There's no door there now. Always slightly changing this house. Oh god. Okay, it's very dark. So, fucking don't. What's oh, this? Stop looking at me like that. Some liquid it's just courage. A little something to help me focus on my work. That's opening. all. There you go. Booze. Loves his booze. I'm gonna turn around. And I'm gonna get scared, aren't I? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. What the shit was that? Okay, like that. Like, there's definitely a lot of, like, creepy, like, moments, like, that make me go a bit like, ugh. That's creepy, like, seeing some kind of, like, fucking child thing staring through the glass. Right, what have we got here? What have we got? Ah, uh, you didn't get me that time, you shitbag. Lice, mice, bald bloody spots, hair not mine. Where are the scissors? Shit, this guy hates mice. I think in there, what's that? Oh god, I can hear a woman crying again. From out here? No, it's locked. It's 
So something's definitely happened to this dude's wife and kid. I'm looking at him. I think it might be his fault. Oh my god. Alright, trippy. Oh fuck. That kind of thing doesn't really signal anything happy happening. What, do I go this way? Uh, is that a thing? No. Alright, let's go through this. Oh yeah, let's walk in the fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, where am I now? If I'm back in this bit again. That bit's a bit like, um. Daylight. Holy fuck. Which way do I go? Which way is more appealing? The way with the lights? Is that a Frank West statue? It's not. It should be. Wait, what's this? Wait. Mummy and Daddy are broken hearted. The kid knew something was up with Mummy and Daddy. Whoa. Oh, holy fuck. Seems to be raining now. A secret passage? No, not a secret passage. Anything cool in here? Drafts. Oh. Well, that's gone. Dominoes? Has that gone on here? Something going to have happened here? Missing one more draft. Possibly. Wondering if the, uh, the drafts board is a puzzle. Of sorts. Anything there? Uh, can't pick anything up there. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look, there's one. And there we go, it's on there. Now, what are you saying? You gonna. You gonna. Is that it? Oh, wait, look, who's that? Look. Oh, shit. Okay. Solving puzzles. Makes us scary? No? Doesn't make us scary? No, just makes things tidy. Okay. Fine. Not sure about that. Guess I'm sleeping with the lights on tonight, says Alex Magoo. <laughs> 86 Mad Hatter says, I knew I saw boobs. Wait, is there boobs in this game? I missed the boobs, I was too busy cowering. Oh, I don't think they'd be the greatest boobs, because they were like horror ghost, evil ghost, no skin on face. Woman boobs. Boobs. What have we got? What have we got? Glasses, books, nothings. Horrible whisperings. Hello. Hello. Fuck. What the fuck? Alright. Last time shit went like that, I got jump scared like a bastard. Ah, oh, is he teddy bear? Hello, teddy bear. What did that chessboard do then? What did the drafts board do? Was that. Maybe that just unlocked a door that was down here. I'm solving the puzzles too quick for this game. Can I like those? No. Oh, it's the same bloody room. Okay. Oh. Sunshine. Can't see any difference to this room. Fuck. What? Hello? Okay, now this is definitely going quite PT on us. Hello? Ooh. Were those candles on the window last time? Not really sure. Can't see any differences. Oh, the, the sunshine's gone. Creepy dolls. Oh, you shitty bastard. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ.
No, 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 creepy baby, no creepy babies, no, bad creepy baby. Okay, room gone, Melty. Oh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. The fuck? It sounds like monsters in the walls. Oh shit, it's a window. Hello? Please let me have onto the window. Get fucked, you get fucked. Right, going this way. No monsters. The fuck are you? Where's this banging coming from? Okay, maybe that was banging has been relegated to this room. Can't go back there now. Fuck's sake, that shit me up, says Alex McGee. Alright, oh, nice and bright. I like this. Ooh, scary plates. Boo, scary plates. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, so again, apologies um, I, if I'm not reading too many comments. Uh, I'm just trying not to. I that was, I'm just trying to um, get absorbed into the game. If I, if I read too many comments. I lose the atmosphere and I don't get as scared. Um, but I appreciate everyone watching. Looks like there's 45 of you. Hello, all 45 of you. If you've been enjoying this Let's Play, I do uh, pretty much daily live streams when I can. Um, so please do subscribe and click the add button and all that stuff if you've been enjoying yourself. Tomorrow's live stream I'm going to be doing more H1Z1, hopefully a team battle royale session with the viewers. So if you've got H1Z1, fucking spooky doll, or you just love uh, incredibly um, fun streams, then you should check that out. I do love streaming H1Z1. Alright. Oh, I don't have to do the spooky jack in the box. That's incredible. I thought I would have to. There's a cop. Nothing creepy in the cart yet. Can I open that? What have we got? What have we got? We've got a mirror, nothing much else. What's going on? Why can't I where what where's the there we go? Oh, there's the plate in there. What is this here? Can I do Do anything with that? No. Do I look up? Nice lampshade. Should I have the lamp shade like that? Cat toy thing. What does that say? T! Anna exclamation G. Beat Hirth this. Could death for Hirth. What? Ooh. Weird words. Creepy dolls. Is there nothing else in here? Do I maybe draws? Oh, wait, oh, wait, here we go. It's a winder for something. And that looks like a picture of Slender Man or something. Okay, nothing of note in there. I don't like, I don't like you. Just put, for the record, I don't like you. Nothing. Oh. Fluffy fakers mocking me, lying still between toys. No toys allowed. No toys allowed. Here we go, right. Put the key in here. 
Holy shit, I'm spinning around. I don't know what is happening. I can't control it. I can a little bit. There's a spinning top on the floor. It's spinning by itself. The rock of the horse is going on its own. Please don't have a monster in my face. What the fuck? Jack and Bucks. Oh, it's Toy Story. It's okay. It's just like Toy Story. What the fuck is that top doing? That cat's trying to get out of here. He's got the right idea. Holy shit. Oh, that fucking doll. What's the one on the chair doing? Crap, 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 crap. Who's in that tiny house? Dog's gone. Fucking what? No. Uh, 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 I'm gonna vomit. What's going on? Happy family scrubbed out. Poo poo burden, talentless something. I can't. I can read it. It's getting. Hush, hush, baby, everything's all right. This is all fucked up now. That's really far away. What is it? I can't see it. Stars fade above you. The room goes dark. Oh, my God, what's happening? Holy shit. Spooky dolls. That may have shiver down my spine. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Oh, Jesus Christ, what's going to happen now? Fuck. Oh, it's going to touch me. It's going to strike my face. Here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Keep your chopper away from me, motherfucker. What? Creepy hands many dolls. Oh shit. Please don't jump scare me. Uh, okay. Alright. 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 That wasn't as jump scary as I thought it would be. If someone's fucked up that picture though, they're painting loads of eyes on it. Eyes, that's like uh, Condemned. All the paint, all the, um, in Condemned, you see all the pe pictures of the eyes drawn everywhere. Okay, let's get up. What? No, Ian doesn't want to be in this crazy crib anymore. What the fuck is that? This was a special brush, oh. like a horsehair brush, but different. It's a tail. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Does he cut a rat's tail off? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. <laughs> All right, let's put it back and forget the whole thing. Yeah, I think he might have cut some animal's tail off, possibly the dog, um, because the dog thing got fucked up. <laughs> Fuck yourself! <laughs> Holy shit! No! Oh fuck! Uh, that was horrible. They need to sack their interior designers. Seriously, who puts a giant doll's head in uh, front of the door? What time is it? 9.30. Well, I've been streaming for an hour and 15. I'm going to keep going. Oh, I'm going to keep going. That is fucked up. Yeah, this guy's definitely got a thing about dolls. Oh, shit me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone at first. I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in the mortar. I had to get one. Obviously, this was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. All right, use your dog tail brush. What's the painting going to look like now, Mother Flipper? Whew. It's turning into a portrait of something fucked up. Quite possibly a portrait of the thing that I put in my thumbnail. Hello. Oh yeah, all the booze is all the booze has turned into dolls. Brilliant. Brilliant. There's um, a collection of the weird notes I found. Um, and all the creepy children's light things. Oh well, let's keep going. What, what what else could be wrong? Oh god, what is this game about? Says Lawrence Murphy. Uh, this game is about a painter who's gone insane. It's a psychedelic horror game. More um, to do with atmosphere, I guess. Than like, I don't think you can die in it. Hickory dickory dock. 
The mouse ran up the clock. He's gone the mental. Clock struck one. Horror ran down. Hickory dickory duck. Horror. <laughs> oh, great. My guy's gone insane. Hickory dickory duck. Anything behind that? No. I'm going back out again. Different rooms. It's all different in shit. What the fuck? Something's moving beyond this door. Okay. He's all say, I see no ships. I'm hesitant to run forwards into what is probably a scary situation. I'm just going to check in this drawer quickly. No keys. Uh, there's like a, th a, th a face. No, what about that? Nothing in there. Alright, what about this bright red bug? What's that noise? Whoa. Right, red vase does nothing. Has that got further away? Yes. Can I go inside the painting? Bit trippy. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Please don't open. Holy fuck. 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 What? Holy fuck. Shit, shit. Shit, shit. Okay, this is. This isn't too bad. It's like a light show. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. Shit. All right, that was weird. Now where am I? Now where am I? Okay, we're in a smaller room. Uh, same bright red vase that looks out of place slightly. Uh, cupboard is open sesame. No, nothing in there. Okay, nothing in it. Uh, can't get over there, I don't think. So we're going through the door. We're going out this door. So I think each trip through the house unveils a different... Fuck you, slamming door. What the... Stop slamming. Stop closing on your right. Stop. Jesus fucking Christ. Can't get a good door nowadays. I think each trip through the house is like a trip through his psyche. Like the last one was about his uh, child, maybe. Canvas crawlers, mass of pulsating fur, poison to paint, fire final solution. I think he was starting, maybe he was hallucinating rats. So he decided to set fire to his house, possibly. And that's what caused fuck you, his family to die. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, what the, is wrong with these doors today? Oh, holy... Holy moly. That is pretty grim. Okay, what fucking room are we in now? Oh, look at this. Paintings of rats. Oh shit. Okay, right. That's not too bad. I can deal with rats. I can handle I can handle rats. The house 
is on fire though. Probably not a good sign. bit my knees off. This game is awesome, says Mechanized Warpick. Alrighty. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, so I'm back here again. Don't mind the familiar rooms. This is like his pass out room. Is that the room he always wakes up in when he's been drinking? Oh fuck. Dripping shit off the ceiling. What the fuck? No scary wheelchair. No scary wheelchair. No. Bad scary wheelchair. Hello there. Someone's fucked my curtain. Just been fucking with my curtains. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a dead rat. Oh, man. It it fuck! yourself, you bastard! Ah! Angry wife. Going back here again. Just when I thought it was safe, there was no more jump scares coming. They jump scared the shit out of me. Right, what do we got? That's weird. Looks like veins or something. Uh, Get off my fucking back! This is what helps put money on the table. It's not like you're any help to me anymore. Oh dear. He's arguing with his wife, I guess, about his booze. Problems with the booze. Anything interesting we need in here? Doesn't look like it. I think his wife's got a good reason to be haunting him. He seems like a bit of a prick. That's a weird. Okay, that's a weird, uh, weird cupboard door. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm fucking stuck. What the fuck is that noise? Not 100% sure I like this pervy torture room. Handcuffs. Uh, many chains. Um, candle. Broken bottles. An extravagant lock. Many cogs. Don't. Jump scare me? No. Okay. Well, how are we getting out of this crazy mess, Higton? <laughs> Tried to blow the candles out. Didn't work. Anything to do within there? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Hmm. Rope. Ropey nope. I pull the chain? Yes. What the fuck is that noise? It's fucking horrible. Door open yet? I'm gonna put one last time. Oh no, I can't. Who the fuck has a door like that? Why is it so dark in here?
This is cool, this is cool. Give this a like, guys, says Mechanized Warpig. Yeah! I reckon you should do. Okay, right. Just had to take a little, take a little breath there. Bit stressy. Back to the lift again, okay. Oh, shit, I need to... Close that. We go up or down. Up. I'm going up. Oh shit! Boobs. Please don't appear inside the lift. Fuck! Should play Fatal Frame. He would shit his pants multiple times in an hour. Ian, you should play something happy after for five minutes. Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> oh, God. oh, bleeding dull babies. You're crying, woman. Oh no, what is that now? I don't like this bit. So I normally get jump scared. Things are fucked up, but. Okay, this. Room, possibly nothing. Alright, let's continue down here. Oh, look, that door opened ominously. Fuck. Wife? Oh, look how trippy that is. I'm on drugs. Alright, I'm going in, drugs way. Drug world. Oh! Fuck. Where am I? Fuck. This guy's not just on booze, he's on super drugs. Ooh. Spit this paint everywhere again. I'm okay. Oh. Oh! Back in my office. Hello there. Hello office. I've missed you. You look normal. Hello creepy baby painting. Oh fuck. Where's the telephone? Telephone in the plant? How the fuck? I can hear a telephone from somewhere. I've got my headphones on the right. Seems like there sounds like there's a telephone coming from through there. Maybe there's a button to open a secret door. What's that there now? Ooh, ink. Ooh, dead rats. Nice, he's got medals. It's been in the war. Uh, nothing. There's nothing in there. What's that on the table there? It's just like a coin. 
Am I missing a uh, telephone? Where is it? Telephone behind the wall. Where's your shitty telephone? Like, who keeps the telephone behind a wall? Oh, it gets really loud occasionally. In the fire? Is it in the creepy? Oh, three six three. What's that a combination for? Can we see any numbers anywhere? What is three six three for? Meow. I'm s I'm confused now. I'm st I'm stuck. I'm stuck. It was all going so well. I guess the number three. I guess three six three is something. I just need to find like a panel or something that. Oh, the telephone stopped ringing now. Oh, that's good. Oh fuck. The telephone doesn't ring if I stand in this corner. We're looking for a book with 363 on it, maybe? Can't see any books that look out of place. Oh! That's what just opened. Oh, hello. Here we go. Three, six, three. What? Is that doing anything? Oh fuck! Oh, holy shit! Okay, that's kind of fucked. Up. Oh. Thank you for playing the early access version of Layers of Fear. We hope you enjoyed it and can't wait to hear your feedback. Stay tuned for more madness. There we go. I made it through. I didn't cry. I might have wet myself a little bit, but um, I made it through. So yeah, that was the early access uh, version of Layers of Fear. They have um, left it... Um, they're going to be adding more bits to it, so they've left the ending off, so there's, you know... I guess you're not going to be able to play the ending until the final game has been released. It's a bit of a slow burn game. Uh, there's no peril in it. Um, it's more like a trip through a spooky house. But um, if you're playing it, I could imagine playing it on your own, like without even commentating, just sat here playing it on your own, uh, would be pretty terrifying. There's um, jump scares that made me swear. There are um, there were. Uh, bits that made me um, uh, jump out of my skin, there were bits that made me like get like ugh, shivers, shivers down my spine as I uh, as I um, got like you know saw creepy figures everywhere, it's good, 
it's pretty good. I um, some people might be a little bit annoyed or might not dig the passiveness of it. Uh, let me turn this music off. But I don't know. I quite digged it. I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, I'm a little bit sweaty. Um, that definitely freaked me out a little bit. Um, but it was cool. I enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed watching me play through, uh, play through the early access demo. I did that in about an hour and forty-five minutes, and that probably was about two thirds of the way through the game. So it's a pretty short game, but you can pick it up now uh, for about nine pounds. I think eight pounds, maybe. It's on sale and it's quite cheap because it's an early access game. So if you like the look of it and you want to go through the haunted house for yourself. Um, then uh, yeah, you you could pick it up. Uh, it'll probably increase in price once the full release comes out as well. So maybe you want to carry on playing it for yourself uh, and see the full game for cheap. You can pick it up now. But yeah, it's I I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I thought it was better than um, you know kind of other exploration horror type games that try and rely too much on uh, like on just wandering around it threw in enough jump scares and visual treats for like for me to keep my interest every so often as i started to get a little bit bored by it something would happen it would suck me back in so i enjoyed it it was cool and i like the fact that there's a couple of puzzles to keep you guessing as well it's not just a straight slog uh through if you guys and girls if any of you are brand new and you've never uh, seen this channel before my name is ian higton uh, you can follow me on Twitter there for updates on my streams. Uh, if you want, you should you could uh, press the add button if you're watching on YouTube Gaming. Uh, please do subscribe to me if you're watching on normal YouTube. And uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching me get scared and stuff. Let's do some shout-outs quick. Oh, Jesus, this face is scary, says so Specky48. Oh, you flatterer. Uh, thanks to Lawrence Murphy, Lizzie2006, who I think may have um, fixed her streaming problem, but maybe not. Uh, thanks to Plankton1975. Uh, I will be streaming until dawn at some point next week, whether that will be on Eurogamer on, or on here, I don't know. But um, no spoilers for until dawn. Don't put them my way, because I'm trying to go into it. I, I know pretty much absolutely nothing about the game, and that's the way I want to keep it when I go in. I want to be like, I don't know what's going on. So, uh, yeah. Thanks to Alex Magoo, Dan Lidford, Judicator, uh, Drunk Dougie One, Lawrence Murphy, Tominator XX, Duster One, Just in Time for that stream, Anderson. Nice. Uh, nice name. Winter Phoenix as well. Kai was 12. Thanks to Kai was 12. Thanks to who else? Anyone else? Judicator. Fergal Riley. Um, yeah, Laura Laura left just before it started getting real scary. Thanks to Turf Her to Her Cook. Uh, thanks to Mechanized War Pig. Um, anyone else? Quick 209. And everyone else who's been watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, all that stuff. Thank you very much. Thanks to all the regular Higtonians as well. You guys are my heroes. Um, it's always great to have you guys along. So uh, I'll be back streaming tomorrow. If you're interested, I'm going to be doing a couple of hours on H1Z1 Battle Royale. Fingers crossed I'll be able to do some Team Battle Royale with some of you guys. We can have up to five teams of five. It's fun doing it by myself. Will it be f even more fun playing with you guys? Will it be really chaotic? I don't know. I've never I've never streamed it with five people before, but hopefully we'll see tomorrow. If I can't get enough interest for playing it, I'm still going to play it because I bloody love it. I think it's awesome. So, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and have a really good night. Don't have nightmares now. <laughs> oh, it's gone black. Why has it gone black? There we go. That's oh, scary. I'm scared. It's gone completely black now. Don't do that. Yeah, do that. Now do that one. There we go. Now I can... Now I can... Bah!